Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this episode, we're going to look at uh, backspin, screw back, however you want to, however you want to describe it. Now, the theory here is it's all about timing. Timing the ball is so important. It's not hitting the ball harder. It's not kind of slugging at it. It's all about pure timing. Like in any sport that you play, timing is everything. A tennis serve. Uh, a, a strike of a, a football, you know, throwing a dart, everything is timing to get the right result that you want. So, what we're going to demonstrate here is the yellow ball into the corner, draw the cue ball back for the eight ball. Now, first and foremost, I'm going to demonstrate the, the incorrect way to play the shot, which effectively is hitting the ball hard. So, we're going to Hit the ball hard in the attempt to get the cue ball back here for the eight ball. Let's see what happens. Okay, not bad. We got to where we wanted to be. We hit the ball very sluggish, very kind of, very ugly. The second time around, we're going to play the shot a lot smoother, with a lot, a lot more class. So. What, what's happening here is, is this, this cue ball is striking the yellow ball below centre. What we have here with a pool cue ball, an eight ball pool cue ball, as opposed to if you played snooker. So snooker, both balls are the same size. With this in mind, the centre of the cue ball hits the centre of the object ball. Okay, but with eight ball pool, the cue ball is smaller than the object ball. So therefore, we're automatically hitting below the centre of the object ball, which means it's easy for the cue ball to come back. So we don't need to hit it with anywhere near as much force as I've previously just done. So the cue ball is being instructed with backspin. So effectively, this is what's happening then when it hits the ball, it spins back. Now, how many rotations it spins back is what we instructed to do. So, if we play the shot in this manner, we hit six o'clock on the cue ball, and as I get to the cue ball, I just fractionally stop on impact and not follow through. This is what happens. Okay, so by the time the cue ball had reached the object ball, there was no backspin left on it. So it couldn't possibly get back to the eight ball because all the backspin had come off the ball by the time it had got to the object ball. So, second time around, I'm going to instruct the cue ball to have more rotations, but not quite enough to get back to the eight ball but I'm going to follow through a little bit more when I get to the cue ball and not stop straight away. So let me, let me demonstrate that for you. Okay, so in that instance, there was a little bit more backspin imparted to the cue ball, to the object ball, but not enough to get where we wanted to go. So this time around, I'm going to instruct the cue ball with the necessary rotations, the necessary backspin, so that when it gets to the object ball, it fizzes back for the eight ball. So we're going six o'clock on the cue ball again, but this time follow right the way through the bottom of the cue ball and get those rotations imparted. And there we have it guys, perfect position. If you like the video, like, subscribe, put your comments down below. Look forward to seeing you in the next one.